Hey fellow tennis nerds, what can I do about my ugly strokes? That's the topic of this video. I can try to help to give you some feedback also if you have ugly strokes, but the point is that it's not about how the strokes look, it's the result they produce. Depends on what you wanna get out of your tennis, if you wanna win matches, or if you just wanna play tennis out of the pure enjoyment, sweat, get some exercise and all these things. Uh, it depends on what you want. So ask yourself the question, what you want? I enjoy reviewing gear. I enjoy working on my game. I also enjoy the competitive aspect, although it's tough to keep playing competitively when you're always testing new rackets. It's also tough sometimes to work on your technique when you're always with a new racket or a string and so on. But that's a part of the thing I'm doing, so I just have to accept it. So I got this comment uh, from Hayden uh, that my strokes are so ugly. And uh, I get many, many nice comments all the time. So big thanks to all of you who write nice comments. I also get questions that I deal with in my uh, weekly Q&A sessions. Uh, but some comments obviously are not so nice and I don't really take them to heart. I just found this uh, extra fascinating because it's a topic that's been talked about by other YouTubers. And it's also something I think about sometimes because the, the beauty of your strokes is not uh, the most important part of tennis, obviously. And... Um, I feel pretty happy about my strokes or the progress of my strokes, uh, but they can be improved and the person who comments might be a futures player or a high level player that just wants to make sure that I know that I'm not. But believe me, I, I do know my own, uh, my own ranking in the tennis system. So I wanted to talk about the topic of ugly strokes. Uh, one way I've been improving my previously a lot more ugly strokes I was to record myself to make sure I see what I'm doing and not doing and try to correct it myself. I haven't put much time and money into coaches. I've just tried to do this kind of self-improvement journey and see where it would lead to. And I'm pretty happy with the progress. It's been, uh, you know, taking a while, especially since I always play with new gear. So it, it's not as easy and it's not my main focus. But I, I still want to improve and I, I think it's mainly been improving. There, thanks to a lot of YouTube channel thanks to playing with good players and uh, and just focusing on my games. I can really recommend, if you're keen on improving your technique, to watch your own strokes by recording yourself. You can use Swing Vision or, or just your camera or phone to record yourself. And then you have um, footage to watch and to analyze and see where things go wrong. Some players have a strange perception of their strokes. They they probably believe they, they look like Roger, you know, the, the Swiss guy, but when they actually see themselves play, it's not as pretty. So um, I think it's very common that tennis players kind of over rank their own abilities. So whether that's on an NTRP scale or just describing their own game, I do notice that in sometimes in consultations or in communication with players that uh, people have a tendency to uh, to rank themselves higher than they probably are. I've done that in the past, uh, not so much anymore with all the footage I see of my own game. And, and, you know, I've also played against a lot of good players that I, I know where I am in the in the pegging order of tennis. Uh, it can be a harsh truth to, to understand, but it also makes me a better reviewer and I think a more aware person. So I think it's been good overall. Beautiful strokes. I mean, Fed, Dimitrov, two players that I love to watch because there's such... Uh, elegant movers and beautiful technique doesn't mean they win all the matches or even have the best results or maximize their talent uh, Grigor is one example that I think he could have done more with it with the game he has uh, but it's not tennis is not about uh, beautiful strokes although I do like watching them uh, it's about winning matches and winning points and and for example Daniil Medvedev is a player that a lot of tennis fans say ha he has ugly strokes uh, I wouldn't call them ugly. Uh, they're definitely good from a technical point of view. They look a little bit unorthodox, a little bit strange, but I do like that tennis players have different styles. Uh, I would like, I would have loved to see more of a, like Fabrice Santoro and these types of players that play a very different and unique style, whether they used to slice a lot like Feliciano Lopez or Dan Evans. 
and they just play differently. If everybody had like a perfect forehand and a great double-handed backhand and a good serve, I mean, how boring would tennis be then? It wouldn't be fun to watch. It's like watching two AI bots hit baseline rallies uh, against each other. So I do like that the the difference in styles and the difference in uh, in the the way they approach the game it makes tennis much richer and more interesting as a sport, in my opinion. Uh, so I don't think it's so much about the beauty of the strokes. It's about what they do to the opponent and how efficient they are overall and consistent, obviously. Uh, and I don't claim to have any great strokes by any means. That's why I'm a work in progress always. Um, but I always find these comments fascinating because I, I do wonder about the person who's writing them. Are they unhappy? Are they just a great player who wants to me to understand how bad my shots are or how bad I am as a player? Hard to know. Uh, you don't know the, the person commenting, but it, it's I find it fascinating more than it doesn't really hurt me at all. I don't really care about this point. We all know how the internet works, so it's not a shock to the system. But I just find it a little bit fascinating. And I think it could be important if you want to type uh, a nasty comment on social media to uh, to think twice. Maybe look at yourself in the mirror. Kind of basic tips to to not stir up more anger than it's already on the internet because we I think we have enough uh, already. So I think that's that's a a good point. So either way, if you have ugly strokes or not, if you're trying to improve, try to just maximize the enjoyment you get out of tennis. We play it because we love the sport. We love being out there exercising, socializing with other tennis players and just enjoying the sensation of hitting the ball on whatever level we are. And I think that's the, the love of the game that we need to, to share and, and bring out and not the polarizing statements that you can find on social media at times. Uh, so uh, I'm keen to know how are your strokes coming along? Is this something you're obsessing about? I know a lot of players obsess about technique. Uh, more than sometimes winning points or are you more like you know the most exhausting players from the essential tennis universe uh, which is interesting he's a player that doesn't have conventional strokes but he manages to to win matches and be a very difficult opponent for for pretty high ranked players so uh, you know there are all kinds of aspects of tennis and having different styles and different levels makes tennis a richer and more beautiful sport to play in my opinion so uh, i'm keen to hear your thoughts about this in the comments because i find it to be a fascinating topic and it shows something about about uh, you know us humans and, and how we perceive ourselves and other other people uh, well that's pretty much all for today uh, more videos to come and uh, working on that please consider supporting me on patreon patreon.com slash tennis nerd or by buying something from the links in the description tennis warehouse uh, swing vision great app or uh, top court for example for more coaching from from top players and so on and um, that's all have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis